American Horror Story Hotel. Checking in. Let's go get into it. This episode was really cute. I am really liking American Horror Story. I, I, you know what? To me, this is good. I love this season. I love this season. A lot of people are not liking it too much, but I'm liking it. It's so many storylines and stuff going on. It's hard for us to keep up with because it's all linked together. But I am loving it. I am loving it. a lot of people. Well, a couple of people, you know, not featuring it. I am. I, I'm thinking it's just it's everything for me. It won't top Coven because Coven was my shit. But it's getting to that point where I might love it even more. So let's go and get into it. James um, March ends up meeting with Tristan. Tristan is fascinated with James March, and he just going, you know, what can I do to keep this shit going? So he's like, bitch, we need to kill Will Drake. We need to kill Will Drake. We need to get rid of his ass because he's trying to take over the hotel and tear this shit down. And I built this shit so we can have, we can enjoy and slice whole throat. And, you know, what's nice? Like, man, this is the shit I'm talking about. So, you know. Uh, what's name? It was you. He just they've been developing some type of relationship. Um, we get back to some flashbacks with Doctor Lowe, which is Detective Lowe's um, um, wife, and you know they go into the whole situation of um, I think his name was Holden or something. Um, the child that went missing, and they just you know have flashbacks of when she tried to commit suicide, and she I think she got flashback put into that because. Remember the guy, I mean, the um, little child who had the measles and the parent who refused to get um, immunizations. She didn't believe in shots and all that type of stuff. And it got serious. His temperature's 104 degrees and he's on the verge of dying almost. So they got to take him to the um, to the hospital or whatever. And, you know, she started thinking, she saw a baby and she started thinking about her child. And it just made her, you know, made her feel some type of way. So, you know, she started telling the story about, you know, she tried to kill herself and da 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 and her husband found her in the bathtub, which was really, really sad. Because I can imagine, you know, losing a child is very, very, very serious. And, um, matter of fact, you know, I was, you know, it's, it's just, a, it's, it was tough for me. It was kind of a little tough for me to watch that, um, I don't have any kids, but I'm just considering, um, situation with my auntie and then someone messaged me, um, yesterday, well, this morning and was telling me that they had lost their child and um they had lost their son 19 year old son and then there's some on um, their boyfriend and some more the kids it was just it was just you know they were telling me that they felt something you know felt the connection with me when i told my story and it was just you know that's something that you it takes a lot to get over like losing your child she was just saying over you know every time she looked at the phone she thought it was some calling her then it went from a year and you know, and she was just, it was just a phone call. So, you know, that was very, very sad. And just it just encourages to go get therapy. Let's, you know, go get that. Go see some go talk to a therapist. Sometimes our brains need just as much help as our bodies our body do. Um so she in the therapist, she's talking, and she um uh, her daughter, you know, she was like her her daughter is telling these wild stories, she's just not understanding because her daughter has found their son in a um in, in the hotel so she's just like you know what are we gonna do you know what she was just like i don't know what to do with her because she's doing too much this is not real but when the girl said or well, scarlet said you know he smelled like lavender like the candles and she was just like lavender because that's what she said she's addicted to that smell the writing in Amer american horror story hotel is just really really good it's just really really good ryan murphy is very very talented with this it's very very good i don't understand how some people don't like it um so we get to um i can't think of naomi campbell's um She's the fashion editor. She she in there, honey. She in the, she in checking her room and she talking. Bitch, as soon as I found out I ain't got no service in my room, I had to find me another hotel room. That's just me. So she getting there. She trying to straighten her wig up because she want them badass edges to um to fuck up. So she you know she in the bathroom trying to get her wig game together. And bitch, she looking down and then she see this like ghostly figure show through the mirror. Bitch, that was your time for. I, I don't be. I just don't understand. How folks be seeing creepy ass shit. Cause ho, oh, if it would have been me, I'd have been gone. Ain't no way in the hell I'm finna say, oh, okay. You know, maybe I'm just high off some drugs or some Percocets. Let me take my ass to um bed. Bitch, no, I've been ready to go. To go. To go, honey. So she got her ass in that goddamn tight ass mattress, honey. The uh Fraud Malone had cooked, kicked out on the side and she laid her ass and Fraud Malone came out there whole 
and grabbed her ass, honey, child. One of his kids, honey, the ones he didn't transform into that dirty, empty ass house. So she didn't get her ass killed. She basically fucking dead. Just you know, all types of messed up. I don't even know what to. I don't even know what to tell her ass. So. Tristan goes in, he get ready to go to the kid. He goes to see Will Drake and he just playing with him. And you know, he's like, Bitch, how you get my how you get your face so beat? How your scar go away? He's like, I'm I i do not know. I'm let me tell you. So he flirt with him and rubbing on him and try about to he about to give him some look like it. And then he pull out a knife and he ready to kill his ass. And then Countess stopped. She said, Uh uh, you can't kill him. And she just like, and he just like, hell, why the fuck I can't kill him? So he stops and child, Real Drake got blue balls. He got blue balls. I know his balls are hurting. I just, I, I've been there before. I, that must have really hurt Mr. Real Drake. I don't know what to tell you about. So he stops and, um, you know, they ain't do shit. So I don't, I don't understand that. I didn't. I didn't understand why why Countess didn't want to kill him because I was just like, you know, bitch, don't you live here too? Don't, ain't you tired of paying rent too? Don't you want to be rent free? Uh, so <laughs> we get to the the junkie whore, the junkie whore, um, Sally ass. She she flirting, she flirting with Detective Honey. She trying to um she trying to you know get him all riled up and she everybody just got blue balls this episode. It seems like this episode should have been called Blue Balls. And Dr. Lowe, Detective, with well, Detective Lowe is just like, girl, I'm going to take your ass to jail. It's too much shit going on in here, bitch. You got this shit going on. And I know you got some response because the guy that, at the hospital that I rescued that, that jumped out this mattress, one of Fraud Malone's kids, he said that, bitch, you set him up. You set him up. You did this shit. You, you told him you was going to give it his free, and you did not. So she said, bitch, I don't know what you're talking about. So she said, you're thirsty. You're starving. So he started grabbing she started grabbing on his dick and just all type of shit. And then he was like, no, you ain't finna do this shit. And not in here. Not in here. And girl, next thing I know. Boy, that was the longest elevator ride I have ever seen in my life. So she just disappeared. Bitch, I don't. Detective Love, you got some guts. Because, baby, I couldn't have did it, honey. I, I couldn't have did it. So Iris, honey. I want to know what Iris done done to Donovan. Because Donovan is so pissed off. And he's just so irritated with his mother. He, I don't, and I just don't understand why is he so mad? What did Iris do to his mother? He just cussing her ass out, going in. I'm just like, what? What? You no, know, what's going on? So Donovan, he's sitting here sucking on old dead ass bodies and shit, trying to get his some light because he didn't got kicked out. Okay, um, and he walks up to the woman. She having car problems and shit. She standing there. He, he, he falling over and shit. And next thing you know, <laughs> baby, he get his ass zapped, honey, zapped and threw his ass in the trunk. And baby, Miss Angela Bassett shows her face as Ramona, honey. Ramona is everything, and I am living for her because way she, you know, I can just tell she's finna be a bad, fiery ass character, honey. So Lowe's wife, um, Dr. Dr. Lowe serves, just tells, you know, Detective Lowe, I'm I'm ready for a divorce because this is just too much shit going on. I'm just ready for a divorce. So they try to make up. And he tried to say, let's go make a baby and all that type of stuff. He trying to kiss on, rub her in the hotel room. And he just telling her about all the crazy shit going on. And she just not in, she just not interested. She, they're about to get the grind on. And she leave. And then she, child, she, she ready to go. She just, I, I, I just, I don't know. What the hell is a Dr. Lowe's purpose, to be honest? But we're going to get to that point. Um, Will Drake ends up meeting with Countess. And Will Drake is talking to her. And, you know, Countess is just like, bitch, you need to die. You need to rise from the ashes so you can be better than what you are. He was like, bitch, I'm not attracted to women. You ain't even trying to put nothing that puss on me. I'm just not. It's not going to work. Pussy don't fail me now. That's what um, Countess was playing, honey. And she grinded on top of... um. She grabbed right on top of him. He got hard on. And baby, Tristan walked in. He said, bitch, what the fuck you doing? And Countess like, oh, bitch, let me get out of here. This motherfucking mad-ass bottom coming in here. So she leaves. And she ends up telling him, bitch, we need him. She's like, I'm not fucking him to get no nut. I need his money. I get that money. That's what they should have played, money. Get the money. <laughs> they should have played what I got a song. Uh, get that money, funny. I can't think of the name of the song, but what a guy got. It's really, really cute. Um, so she taps on her finger. She ends up going back and telling the story. 
um, how she got into her money. She had, she was with this man and he wouldn't leave her no money, all this type of stuff. And he just had so much power over her and all this type of shit. And she was on there looking like Cruella DeVille, honey. That shit was, that shit was, you know, had me a little, I ain't know what the hell was going on. I feel like Gaga could play the new 101 Dalmatians if she wanted to. She probably could because she just, she just gives me that. She just crazy as hell. Um, so, she was like, okay, bitch, we're going to kill him so we can get the money. Sounds pretty legit, honey. Sounds legit. So, Dr. Lowe pooching on down the hallway, honey. And next thing she knows, she sees, she sees her son. And she's like, bitch, what's going on? You know, where, where are you at? And he says, mommy. Bitch, they ain't melt her heart. She just ready. She just ready. You know, she just ready. So, I'm just understanding what the hell is going to happen. She even seen her son, like... She must gonna be trapped in the hotel. She can't go nowhere else without she knowing that it's her damn son in there. So Iris, she's talking to the junkie whore Sally, and she just saying, "Bitch, I want to die. I'm sick of being her." So Sally trying to lick her ass up, trying to um get her ass, you know, some what's name fuck up, and the shit don't work. The shit ain't working. She ain't ready to die yet, honey. Um, what else was going on? So we get to Ramona. Ramona Royale, honey, is her name. And she didn't get pulled Donovan. She didn't pull the straps off and she talking to him. She getting his blood clean. She said, bitch, you know you ain't supposed to be doing all that. You need to be clean. Let me get this shit out of you. So Ramona starts telling her story. She said, you don't need to know who I am. You need to know who I was. So I was like, okay, you know, what it was Ramona. So Ramona goes back and she was like, she was a she was a foxy Cleopatra back in her day, and it was cute and everything. She said, "What y'all in here doing?" And she played. She was an actress and stuff, and she was playing in some B-rated movies. And I loved it because it told a story of black women fighting in Hollywood for good roles, and it was cute. You know, Ramona was just telling you know, bitch, I wanted, I wanted to do what I need to do to get you know get some better roles, and she was trying to get the director. To you know, get her to get her a better role, and he was like, "No, I'm giving it to some another white woman." He's, and she said, "A white woman." Mm -hmm. So it just it told the story. And it's really really good. And baby, Ramona Royale, like she ain't nothing to play with, honey. Countess walks in, and they start looking at each other. He made the she made the director get up, and they start talking. And next thing you know, they start you know develop a relationship. She didn't cut her damn tit out, and. and Ramona Royale sucking all on it and shit and doing doing they getting their grind on and moving on and she's you know they developed a relationship and they they start becoming apart. So Ramona Royale had found this it was this fine ass rapper or a producer whatever he was fine as hell. I ain't gonna lie, that man was fine as hell. I would have had to, I would have fucked him with his brain, his brain splattered all over the place. You know she was ready to turn him. She was ready to cut her tit up and let him let him suck on the titty, but you know, the titty juice, and uh, uh, Countess wouldn't have him. She said, bitch, no, all y'all asses be there. I'm killing everybody in here. Everybody asses is there. Everybody, everybody, God, uh, God is style. Your God is style. She killed everybody. And she blew that fool brain down there. Ramona, Ramona, um, Ramona Royale's about her damn self. She ain't had nowhere to go. She said she didn't want nobody else to be. Um, she said, you too, you could do too good. You just, you can't, um, you, you, I, I love you too much. I ain't let you get nowhere else. So, child, she, I don't know what to tell y'all, honey. I just, I don't know what to say. I do, just do not, this episode was just crazy. And it's an hour and 15 goddamn minutes. Uh, what else was going on? Old Queen Liz, Liz Taylor roasts the dog shit out of Donovan. She um, she just like, Donovan, you done did some fucked up shit to your mom. I know your mom a fucked up person, but you need to love her, honor her, and all that type of stuff. And you need to make what's going That woman loves you. And, you know, he tries to go save his mama. But child, Sally and I already fucked her ass all up and put a bag on her head. So he sliced his damn, his arm out and tried to give us the blood or uh, whatever. And she wakes up or whatever's going on. So, baby, it's going to be some interesting shit. This next episode of um, American Horror Story Hotel is going to be the tea. It's going to be the tea, hunt. But I screamed when uh, Ramona Royale had told Donovan to get his ass up. She didn't need him no more. She said, she told him, your service is not no longer needed. Thank you. Thank you. You can get your ass up. So y'all tell me what y'all thought about American Horror Story. Uh, follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ1232. And I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.